All right, welcome back for the final lesson, number 10. It's actually a very short lesson, so uh, this is just how to get your videos exported from your Premiere Timelines. Uh, so you can uh, yeah, upload them to the internet or put them on a thumb drive or DVD. So how do we export? Well, first you have to select the timeline window. Make sure that this work area bar it covers the video that you want it to export. If it was like this, it would only export the first half, not the second. If it was like this, on it, it would not export the beginning, just the middle and not the end. So make sure it covers the whole video. Don't have it cover out like this because you would end up getting a tail of an extra minute or more, or however long you do this, of extra black video that you don't want. It makes the file too large. You want it to end with the video and begin with the video. All right, once that's fine, make sure you don't have a file selected because if you go to export right now, it would only export the star field. So click away in your timeline and make sure it's still selected and go to file export down here media so to export media it shows you first your video um, anywhere I move through this is what's going to export and we already selected the entire thing so that's good AVI is a really large file type I don't usually usually use it although you can but it's way too large I tend to use either MPEG 2s for HD videos which set it up to the exact size of your program so an MPEG-2 and uh, I don't make changes because it's pretty much set to the exact size of my program full 1440 by 1080 IHD I could change it to 720 not quite high def as the 1080 but it's pretty close it also makes for a smaller video size every time I reduce the quality at 720 most people still see it high def they wouldn't notice the difference if I went to NTSC DV regular old uh, basic quality, you'd get a 500 or so line resolution video, which is half the quality of HD. Some web videos are like this, but they are obviously lacking in quality. Uh, we're going to keep yours up to what it should be, MPEG-2, high quality. Now, there are other options for exporting. For example, you could come down and choose Windows Media, which you can compress even further and keep it HD. Um, uh, this, this I recommend for people uploading videos, but because our video is short, even though MPEG is going to be a little bit of a larger file size, it's not going to be too large for YouTube, so it'll still work out fine. But if we wanted to make our 123 megabyte MPEG-2 even smaller, choosing Windows Media, would make it much smaller as you can see. Of course, this is not an HD. Here's a 720 HD, still half the size. Back to MPEG-2. Some people use FLVs, so they can put them on web uh, websites. Uh, Windows Media works just as well. Um, there are other options, but I'm going to stick with MPEG-2. Leaving it HD. Output name. What will the file be called that you're going to look for to upload to your uh, YouTube page or to your thumb drive? Click on the yellow word of the sequence, and it gives you the folder to save it somewhere. Find the folder that you're working with, so you are in there, and give the file a name. I'm going to call this Pick and calls pick project file. And I'm going to hit save. And now it's got a name and place for the file that's going to be an MPEG-2 in HD quality. I don't have to change any of these other settings. The quality itself is set to 4. If you want to make it even better quality, you can raise it. At this point, we have a 123 megabyte file, which is pretty good sized. And I can either queue it or export it. If I queue it, it would put this in a waiting bin so that I could take other timelines and export them all at the same time. I only have one timeline, so I'm simply going to export. As soon as I do this, I will lose functionality of the machine, but I will start exporting and give me a file in a folder. You'll find your video in the folder that you saved it in. Here it goes. It's actually exporting pretty fast for my computer to a point. Because even with my fast processor, it just hit one of our major edits with multiple pictures and slowed right down. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Oh, I can't even do that. It just froze. Okay, well, that's the end of the exporting lesson. That's how you export a video, and it would be in your folder waiting for you. There we go. 
if I go to my folder, there it is. It started to export even though it stopped. But that's where the picture uh, file would be that I could drop into a YouTube upload or drop it into my thumb drive or burn it to a DVD. All right. Hope you enjoyed using Premiere. You have a lot of video projects ahead of you. So uh, we'll go to video next now that you know how to use the program with just pictures.